Well, we'll see if I post this. If I do, great. I have to say I do like um, that we had the legalization of marijuana. Alcohol um, just engenders the stupidity within me, leaves me with a hangover. And um, I love a good sativa. And yes, I am stoned right now. And it's with a good sativa, and this sativa specifically that I got. Um, it's letting me work through a lot of the stuff that uh, is going on around me. It's letting me work through a lot of the mental health stuff that's been going on. Um, it helps me with the journaling about it. It helps me make the connections of what happened to me and, and where it's led me to. And that in itself is very good. Um, it also allows me to calm my mind. It allows me to sort of reflect upon what's the life that I want to be living from now on. Um, how is it that I want to be? And and I quite, I, I am thrilled that it is working for me. I don't want to become dependent upon marijuana. And the great thing is marijuana is not um, addictive in the same way that many things are addictive. I mean, yes, it's addictive insofar as you enjoy the feeling of wow, you're stoned, but I'm liking it as a tool for me to be able to help investigate the depths of what's been going on inside my mind. I'm hoping that this, well, I'm not hoping. I know this has been a helpful tool for me in being able to get to where I am this fall, the fall of um, 2022. I finally dealt with a lot of problems, a lot of trauma, a lot of things that happened to me that I was trying to bury as deeply as I could. Um, things that in 2016 I was beginning to unearth and beginning to deal with um, that then ended up in a relationship that was uh, domestic abuse. Things that now I can finally put into context of what's going on, you know, what was happening with me. And that's good. It means that I feel comfortable that my depression that I had basically for what 30 35 years non-stop is done i can understand where it came from and i can understand why it happened and it means that you know i've created this underlying mood of, of not creative i have an underlying mood of everything that is happiness now and that's astonishing that's weird the idea that I can be annoyed and frustrated and pissed off. And, and yeah, it's been not a great week because um, my major project of the last year at work was can't go ahead because shit happened. Um, and that pushes a lot of buttons for me is doing a bunch of work and then not having it be able to go ahead. But then I also got sick and I'm just like, Jesus, I was just finally getting back into my new patterns, the patterns of, of, of my life to keep myself healthy, keep myself active and that. And I got sick. And so, yeah. And then I found out my closest friend from high school, um, is, um, got cancer and, and don't even want to say it, but it's, it's, it seems to be terminal. And that was a hard one. So I, um, even with all that stuff going on, my underlying mood was a mood of um, happiness. My underlying mood is happy. That's my standard. And it is so weird for me to feel like upset and frustrated and angry, but realize that I'm still happy underneath. Um, it's like 
what do people live like this do people actually have that happen to them um, maybe they do maybe that's why people don't understand depression because they have an underlying happy place which I've never had not before December 2021 I went decades without a time where I felt like there was an underlying yeah life is shit problems are happening but I'm happy I'm okay I'm I'm content that was never within me and now it is it's it's a wonderful place to be and yes this is all rambly and all over the place and uh yeah I'm quite stoned and the uh the sativa that I bought um wow um the, it was inexpensive and um I I have it in gel caps I took it and bought an ounce and for a price that I was astonishingly inexpensive and I've made these capsules these gel caps I take the marijuana that I buy and I carboxylate it as and I put it in the oven for an hour ish at um, 240 degrees Celsius and um, then pack it into these capsules and um, my last ounce got what I think 117 capsules um, and that's been going that, that's lasted a few months because like two capsules of this stuff and like I'm <laughs> gone so I'm making this video um, before I'm gone um, it's life I enjoy it I enjoy that it's legal now to have marijuana um, Marijuana has a lot more going for it than, the, than that crap that we call alcohol. And yes, I bought a bottle of gin. And um, yes, I can drink a bottle of gin quickly. And that's not all tonight. That was yesterday as well. Um, yeah, it's it's alcohol is really as a society we should ban alcohol and we should allow marijuana marijuana is never going to cause us problems alcohol yeah it's only problems yes it's nice to to have the alcohol to be able to um release yourself from all your inhibitions but oh it's not a good thing marijuana it's like i'm you know am i gonna go out and do anything tonight no i'm just gonna be chill alcohol might me lead me to be go become the big bernard who you know wants to rant about issues but no 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 i'm quite chill it's marijuana that we need to have people to be using we need to really start moving people off of alcohol and we need to really basically say to people you know use marijuana it will it's not going to cause problems it's going to cause us to be chill and that's good alcohol is not chill anyway maybe i'll post this maybe i won't am i crazy enough to post this probably and uh yeah we'll see what happens anyway and maybe, maybe, because it's only been a couple hours since I took my capsules. Maybe, maybe I'll post something when I am gone. And yes, I took three capsules. And that would work out to roughly 225 to 240 um, milligrams of uh, THC. Which, any of you out there who know this stuff, yeah, it's a fairly good dose. So, see how I'm doing. Anyway, um, I hope whoever has watched this finds it enjoyable. And, um, yeah, I'll probably post this. Anyway, have a good evening, everybody. And, uh, 
go for the dope, not the alcohol. The booze is a bad thing. The dope's a good thing.